Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Wally and today we're going to be listening to another new song by Dance Gavin Dance called Pop Off. So I know it's just been a little over a month since they released their last single, Synergy, uh, which was a really, really awesome song. We did listen to it on here and if you don't think I contributed another couple hundred or thousand plays to that song on YouTube, uh, you're definitely out of your mind because I've been having that thing on repeat almost every single day. But uh, that just makes me even more excited that they came out with this one as well. So this is going to be, I'm guessing, their second single off of this album. Um, although this one is a little bittersweet because um, if you guys are a fan of Dance Gavin Dance, you probably already know this. But if you don't, uh, Tim Furyk, who is uh, their bassist, their longtime bassist, um, unfortunately just passed away a few weeks ago. Um, very unexpectedly as well. It was right before they were about to go on tour and have Swan Fest, which is their like, uh, like really, really special concert that they have. Um, and it, it just, it took everyone by shock and all that. So, um, they did film, uh, according to, uh, the band, uh, they did film all of these before Tim passed. Uh, so that means that Tim is going to be in each of these videos. Um, so like I said, it's a little bittersweet because, um, bitter because unfortunately he did pass and that's a huge loss for the band, uh, for the community, for, you know, for bassists everywhere too. Um, but sweet because... At least we get to listen to Tim again, get to see him in the video, and have fun with the band and everything like that. So uh, I'm really excited to listen to this song. I put this off for about a day or two uh, just so I can react to it. So um, I'm ready to get into the song. But before we do, as always, if you are new here, just haven't yet, please go down and hit the subscribe button. And if you do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But let's get into the video. The little slot machine that they have for this album. Jackpot juicer. Is this the Rat King, huh? I love how it's a continuation of the last song, too. Alright? Oh, that's a cool melody right there. Hold on one sec. That's a, that's a dope little melody there at the end of John's of John's little screaming. And I gotta say, I, I love the fact, because we saw it in Synergy as well, but in this song too, like we're starting off with Jeff with John. John's screaming just like to start off the song and don't get me wrong like I love Tillian I love Tillian's voice and all that but I love that like especially at least I'm not I'm not gonna guess for the full album but for at least these first two we're really accentuating the screaming and I love that they're uh again that they're really accentuating that in this song in the last one so hopefully that's gonna kind of be a theme for the rest of the album as well but uh I guess only time will tell huh Oh, by the way, also, I, I'm really sorry because I do realize that the volume on this is very low. Uh, I swear, as you can see here, it is turned all the way up. On OBS, it is turned all the way up. Um, so I'm really sorry about how quiet the song is, but, uh, uh, but still, hopefully you guys still enjoy it too. Oh, there's Tim. You got me wound up. Don't want to come down. Can feel the tension. A ticking time for minutes to seconds until all the lessons I've heard become ravaged and spent. You're all that I want. Oh, that harmony is beautiful. These lyrics are dope too. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta say, first of all, the chorus, the lyrics for the chorus are so epic cool. That's really incredible. I love, I love, and this is kind of the same way in a lot of the Dance Gavin Dance songs, but how they can go from like, you know, that, that post-hardcore, like, screamo, like, type stuff right into something that's a little more funky with, with you know, with Tilly and singing, of course. Um, I just love how they can go back and forth so easily and so seamlessly. It, they, they, they honestly perfected it, in, in my opinion. Um, but other than that, dude, this is a really, really cool video. And again, I love that it's a continuation of the last video. Um, but also, obviously, this is the Rat King. But then having, like, all these kind of prisoners kind of come in and they're kind of fighting each other and all that. I don't know. This is, this is really cool. I love how strange their music videos are. Um, it, I don't know why it just makes, I don't know why it, it makes their, their songs just seem that much better because it's like a, it's like a, you know, you're getting a show with the song and all that. But even, even if we didn't have the music video, this song is really incredible. Again, the lyrics are great. The melody is incredible. Uh, the fact that they really, again, we're starting off with John and then going into Tilly and they're going back and forth like this again. It, it's really cool. And it, something that I just, I don't know. I just don't expect any less from Dance Gavin Ads at this point. Gave you my passion, you took it all though. Elegant fangs I'm covered in crimson. Always delighted when I'm drowning in helpless obsession. You got me bound up, ignoring phone calls, dissolving friendships for your affections. Into my reach into your world. I like those little triplets right there too. You think you're superior. Everyone's a third is bad blood. Always bad blood. Yeah, your territorial. Everywhere you go, there's bad blood. Always bad blood. Yeah. I think you need a friend. I think you need a give a better. They won't let you know. Whoever you can never find a better friend. Jailbreak. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't wait for the next video now. I want to know how this ends. Oh my gosh, dude, that was so, so incredible. Dude, again, I just, I, I don't expect anything less from these guys, like truly. Um, yeah, after how many years now? A little over 10 years of me listening to them. Like, it's, I don't expect anything less. Again, I, I don't know what else to say about it. That was a really awesome song. And again, if I thought I was going to listen to Synergy a lot, you better you better believe this one's going to be listened to at least twice as much. That was really cool. Again, how they're able to go kind of back and forth so seamlessly between, again, just like that that quintessential, just like post-hardcore, like kind of sound with the screaming and everything with John kind of starting off and then just kind of transitioning into Tillian starting to sing and things kind of getting a little, a little lighter, a little funkier and all that. They, they just do such a great job with it. And then the music video as well. Holy cow, dude. That thing was... It, it's just crazy. It, it really is. And again, I know they said I think the next two videos also had, had Tim in it as well. Um, but I'm guessing those are going to be the next two, obviously, in, in the series of this music video. Um, and I really want to see where this goes. Because again, look, we just got introduced to the Rat King that they were talking about in that first one. And now the fights are breaking out. They broke them out of jail. And now I just, I, I don't even know where it's going to go from here. And like, honestly, I, then again, usually in their like songs, I was going to say they don't usually mix like, or in their music videos, they don't usually mix like the, the like real world music videos with the animated ones. You know, typically when you look in like the series of their uh, songs, like with the strawberry ones, um, with the robot, you know, and all those like. Typically, they follow one kind of thing. Like, all the robot ones are all, like, animated. All the strawberry ones that I've, at least that I've seen, have been, um, you know, like, real-world ones. 
So I don't think that they go into an animated, but I think it'd be really cool to see them kind of do a crossover into like an animated music video for this next one. But either way, no matter what they do, and it just kind of shows from these past two music videos, whatever they do, it, it's going to be really incredible. It's going to be really entertaining. And the song that they put along with the music video is going to be an absolute banger. And that's exactly what this one, what this one definitely was too. Um, like I said, dude, this is going to get so many more listens. Um, and you better believe that the more I listen to the song, the more I'm going to pick up on the lyrics and I'm going to start to kind of piece them together. I'm going to come up with my own kind of theory of, you know, what exactly they mean and, and all that. So, um, I don't know. It's going to be kind of fun to tell. Maybe check back on me in a, in a month and see if I've kind of made any headway on the, on the meaning of the lyrics. But either way, this whole song all around from the music video again, to the lyrics, to the melody, to, to just everything, the, the composition of it. Uh, was just flawless. And this is the reason why Dance Game Announce is my favorite band. And always will be. Well, who knows? Who knows what the future will hold? But for now, and, and for, for a while now, they've been they've been my favorite band. And this is exactly the reason why. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the song. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. And we'll see you guys next time.